Hello world, it's me Sammy and um, in this particular video I'm just going to be um, showing you all how to actually back up your servers. Now following the email that we actually got to back up our servers, I've done mine so like a lot of persons have actually sent a DM like Sammy how will I do this, how will I do this and I can't really um, answer everybody so I decided to just put this in, in the video. And then I could just share it. Alright guys, see you right after the intro. Welcome back. Now, as you can see, I have three instances here. I have my Webo 1, my Webo 2, and my load balancer 1. Okay, so um, since we actually want to do backup, now you could actually back up the full machine, like all files in the machine. However, um, I don't think it, that is actually advisable because basically you can actually spawn up an, another ubuntu machine and then to still have the same um, folder structure this uh, virtually the same files so the only thing i i feel that we actually need to conf uh, back up in this case are our configuration files basically because if we're actually going to be reinstalling those applications or those programs going back to actually going to configure them back to the exact same way uh, might be very very stressful and it can take longer period of time okay so on my load balancer one here i only have ha proxy installed here because basically this is the machine that um that is actually proxy requesting to these two machines here so on this particular machine i only installed my load balancer and then yeah i also installed my i did my ssl termination yes yeah. so if i'm actually going to back up i'm actually going to back up those two particular files there so yeah just going to actually look into my etsy folder and yeah you could see i have the ha proxy here And yeah, I do have the lessons encrypt here. And also, you can see you could still decide to back up your SSL um, folder. However, you could actually pick up the folders in which you want to back up. You can decide to back up the full etc directory, whichever. But for me, I'm just going to back up this H proxy. this less encrypt and also my ufw yeah these are the three file folder rather i'm just going to back up on this particular machine now on this particular machine which is my webo one i actually did the application server tag so i'm actually going to back up my data dog folder which is this sorry which is this actually then i'm also going and yeah i still i don't need to back up the g unicorn i just remembered so i'll kind of go back and update my g unicorn um update the backup i, I made earlier okay so i'm still going to back up my sql serve this my sql Folder. Still going to back up nginx. I'm still going to back up my UFW because um I installed nginx on both and still the same here. I think that's what I'm 
going to do also same i'm still going to back up my ufw then nginx my sql but i'm not actually backing up um data because i didn't install data dog yet so to actually do the backup um you could actually use the tar command or the rsync command but i prefer using tar that's personal choice but you could decide to use rsync anyways so to just do that i'm just actually going to say tar actually start with this with sudo sudo tar then I can C for create Z for gzip F to like my the name of my output file and let's just call this label one backup dot dot gz. Now then need to start providing the files I want to so I just want to back up my HA proxy. My HA proxy. I also want to back up the less encrypt. And probably yeah, I still like to back up the SSL. Okay. Then my UFW. Okay. So basically, that's just it. Yup. And yep. That's just it, yeah. So um, if I'm actually going to close this up and um, it's done earlier. You see, currently now I don't have um that particular this particular name of file here. But if I run this command, uh, the compressed file is actually going to the compressed file is actually going to be here. So then I can then move this from this um, machine to another machine or uh, send it to an external storage, whatever. But then it's now a file. If you're using rsync, rsync is just like uh, the way uh, your uh, SCP command, your, sec your secure copy command works basically the same way the R sync kind of work. But I prefer using the tar command anyways. So I'm just going to do this. And yeah, if you really want to see um, how it's actually go going to do it, you can actually put in a V option here for verbals, but I'm just going to leave that. And then like so, voila, you could see I already have my .gz file so i'm just going to come to able to and then i'm going to do the same thing to sudo to c z f and yeah while i was doing this i was kind of doing something like this so i didn't realize that the way i manner you actually place the flags actually um actually matters because I was 100% sure I was actually putting in the right flags, but I was miss. Um, I mixed them up. Um, let's come back here. Let's see this particular one now that ran successfully. If I'm to change these flags now. So let's see this is F and Z. Then let's just change this to, let's just put one here kind of differentiate it now you can see it didn't actually run I can see I still have this so the way I'm managing which you actually placing the flags actually do actually do matter so this is the way for easy uh, remember C for create Z if you want it to be a, a zipped file but if you just want to archive it you can just leave out the C because the C option they saying create an archive Z is to zip that archive F is to pass in a file name then if you want verbals you can decide to put V but I don't want that so in here since I'm on web go to I'm interested in my SQL 
interested in my SQL. I'm also interested in my Nginx. And I'm also interested in my FW. Okay. Um. However, I just remembered. I think I did some. Um. I did some stuff in this during the, my SQL Server application. So come in a little bit. Don't think it's there. Let's just okay. All right. So let's check the log files. Okay. I don't think I'm actually going to back up the log files anyways. Okay, so, so basically these are just the three files I am actually um I'm actually interested in. Okay, you can just continue with this. Yeah, I forgot to put the file name. Just going to call this robot. Uh, We're able to back that GZ and yeah, so come here now. In this case, still going to do the same thing. So, the, so create zip file name, we go on to the GZ. Let's see. My SQL, let's see, data dog agents, let's see, nginx, yup, and that's all, or I can still decide to add in the default folder if I so please. Okay, so that's it. Now, if you actually want to see what's inside your your archive files, now you just put in the T option and the F. The T option is basically saying you want to like list the files in the archive. F is now providing the files, so I'm just going to see web O one. That is okay, and so you could actually see these are the files are actually backed up in there. I could actually count this anyway by piping this to my word counts. Interesting, like I can see in total, I've backed up this around. 54 files okay so let's try this for This forty eight. Okay. So I'm going to do this not here but far, sorry. Okay. So like so um I've successfully backed up my servers. Now you could still go as far as backing up the um the full Etsy directory or even backing up the full machine if you want to go on the safer, safer side or whichever. But basically this uh this is the particular command you just need. 
C to create file, zip to zip it, F to provide a file name. All right, thank you guys. Take care.